Hello everyone, welcome to this video on one sample proportion test. Today we will look at the details of the one sample proportion test and how it is done on Minitab. One sample proportion test is used to estimate the proportion of a population. It compares the proportion to a target or reference value and also calculates a range of values that is likely to include the population proportion. We use this test when x or the independent variable and y or the dependent variable are both discrete. Assumptions for this test are that the sample is unbiased and representative with the population following a binomial distribution. Also, if mean and variance that is NP and NP into 1 minus P for a binomial distribution are both greater than or equal to 5. The binomial distribution can be approximated by the normal distribution. Null hypothesis for a one sample proportion test is rho equals rho 0. An alternative hypothesis could be either not equal to, greater than or less than depending on whether it is a two-tailed or one-tailed test. Rho here is the population proportion and rho zero is the hypothesized proportion. Test statistic for a one sample proportion test is denoted by Z calc or Z calculated, which is equal to P hat minus P sub zero divided by root over P sub zero multiplied by one minus P sub zero divided by N, where P hat is observed probability of one certain outcome occurring. P sub zero is the hypothesized probability and N is the number of trials. Rejection criteria for a one sample proportion test is based on the comparison between the test statistic and the critical value that is calculated from the statistical tables. If absolute value of test statistic is greater than critical value, we reject null hypothesis that is h sub zero. Broadly, the steps to conduct a one sample proportion test are as follows. We are familiar with the steps from our previous videos on hypothesis testing and so we will not discuss them again. Let me bring up a scenario here for you. Let's assume that we are the placement coordinators for a renowned university offering a world-class course on statistics and we want to determine whether our placement rate is better than the claims published by an employment agency in the region. You got it right. We can use a one sample proportion test to compare our proportion with the reference value. Bingo. So now let's quickly see how do we conduct a one sample proportion test on Minitab. Click statistics, basic statistics, one proportion. We need to choose summarized data from the drop down and put the number of events and trials. Check the box which says perform hypothesis test and enter the hypothesized proportion. One important point to note here is that we can also click on options and select the normal approximation method. However, it is advisable to go for the exact method or the binomial method as this method is more accurate and powerful than the normal approximation method. Now here is the sample Minitab output, the descriptive statistics. We are primarily concerned with the p-value. If p-value is less than the significance level, that is alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. This means that there is a statistically significant difference between the population proportion and the reference value. So with this, we conclude our discussion on one sample proportion test today. Thank you very much for your time and please do get in touch with me for any queries or feedback. You can also subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos. We will meet soon with another interesting video. Till then, enjoy learning and cheers.